the front end. The dump happens when there are issues while creating or displaying the control. Note 1603032 is an important note for this dump. This note explains the cause of the dump and how to resolve it. The dump can occur for a specific transaction or it can be totally random. When the dump occurs for a specific transaction, then check if the dump occurs from one client system or from multiple client system. If dump occurs only in one client system, then it could be that there is a bad installation of SAP GUI in that one client system. Run installation check as per note 1099439. If dump occurs in multiple client system and if an installation check comes out clean, move one test system to the latest SAP GUI patch level and check if the issue is reproducible. If the issue still persists, then run automation plus control manager trace. I'm going to capture the trace for SC24 transaction. Before entering the transaction, enable the traces and reproduce the issue till the dump occurs. It is important the trace is captured till the dump occurs as only then the failing control is written into the trace file. Here I don't have a dump occurring so I am just going to capture the trace for a work working transaction and later show you a trace file that has an issue. Make sure to disable the trace after the reproduction of the dump. The trace file is present in the SAP GUI trace folder. You can open a trace file using an editor like Notepad++ and look for errors. I'm going to open up an existing trace file I have with the failing tree control. Here is the error for the failing tree control. For tree control error, check note 2114177 WDT tree. For any other control errors, please open an incident with SAP GUI attaching the automation plus control manager trace with the R3 connection and a step-by-step -step document with screenshot on how to reproduce the issue. If the dump occurs totally random, then again check if dump occurs in all client system or in a specific client system. Dump occurs in all client system and there is no installation issues, then move a couple of client systems to the most recent SAP GUI patch level, start the SAP GUI trace and session trace with all checkboxes enabled. The SAP GUI trace allows us to figure out what the user was working on when the dump occurred and the session trace gives us information on the failing control. Allow users to keep working until dump occurs. Once the dump occurs, collect all trace files and open an incident with SAP GUI. Get us the trace files for at least two systems as that would help us compare traces. Thank you for watching the video.